ओके सो 2020 हैज फाइनली एंडेड आई मीन फोकस दो नो नाउ ओके सो व्हाट्स अप गाइस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हैप्पी न्यू ईयर एंड लेट्स मेक ऑल द मिसरीज फ्रॉम 2020 गेट अवे मेड दिस पर्टिकुलर ईयर लॉट बेटर देन द प्रीवियस ईयर विद दैट बीइंग सेड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी नो टॉक अबाउट very unique motion tracking title effect in final cut pro x now this particular title effect has been inspired by ben tk's videos where you must have seen that he is tracking a title from a scene and then from that title itself it is masking and going to the next scene such as this one which is there on the screen and although ben tk has done this particular technique in after effects we can do this trick in final cut pro now as well since because of the new m tracker 3d from motion vfx you can do 3d motion tracking really flawlessly and the amount of adjustments you can do with this particular plugin is just mind blowing one of the biggest disadvantages though is that this particular plugin is very expensive that is the only disadvantage this particular plugin has although let me be very clear i am trying to find some other ways other cheaper methods for doing this particular trick so stay tuned for that as well so for doing this particular trick let me jump right into final cut pro and show how to do this particular trick using motion tracker by motion vfx m tracker 3d and if you guys like this kind of content then do make sure to subscribe comment down below because we are very close to 100000 subscribers with that being said this is pixel sammy and let's get started First of all of all this let me be very clear the video is not sponsored in any way and whatever i am showing with this portal plugin are totally my own thoughts they are not paying me to say anything nice about their plugin i'm saying straight forward this portal plugin is a bit costly but the effects which you can get with this portal plugin is just mind blowing with that being said let's jump straight into final cut pro and see what this particular plugin does now when you open final cut pro choose whatever drone clips you guys like maybe a one moving forward because those give the best results with this particular trick and this is my second drone shot with which i'm going to transition to make sure both are almost in the same direction only then this particular technique will look better two different directions might actually make it a little bit clumsy and then after that once you purchase the m tracker plugin and install it go to the effects panel and search m tracker 3d and then drag this particular effect onto the main clip go to the screen and click on track it is going to take some time and then once the tracking is done you want to go to the inspector panel and click on copy track just like this after that you need to choose any one of the titles you can give and create your own titles if you guys want to or you can choose one of them from the long selections from the m tracker plugin itself So I'm going to choose the one called pavement or pavin because it gives a little bit of brick texture to this particular you know title and makes it a lot better. So after choosing any one of the titles which you guys like as you can see there are tons of them just drag it onto the timeline just like this. Delete all the extra portions. Go around to the first few seconds. Click on the title and then click on paste track. But before that I'm going to turn off animation in and out because those are not necessary and then click on paste track it is going to paste all the tracking data which was previously done on the main clip and then as you can see it is going to set done and then you can choose the position at which you want to put the particular title effect on such as this one and then as you can see because it is put in such a random location it is oriented to that particular perspective in mind so you need to orient this particular title as per your likings in that inspector panel right here so make sure to rotate the x y and z axis in such a way that it looks natural and it looks better so that this particular effect can be done properly this might take some time depending on the position where at which you are position in your title so make sure to take your own time in doing this i'm going to fast forward this particular portion and for the title i'm going to write 2021 because we are in 2021 right now after the thought i did was i increased the scale of this particular title as you can see the tracking is flawless because of m tracker 3d and now the next step being that creating the transition in mind so choose any one of the positions on the timeline such as this one and then what you need to do is you need to create the position properly of this particular title what i mean by this is that you need to position the title in such a way in a 3d plane 
so that at this particular position of the timeline the particular title goes out of the frame i know this is a bit confusing in simple language i'm going to try to make the zero of this particular 2021 be at the center of the frame and then it is going outside of the frame so that the transition can happen properly so i am just repositioning and positioning the zero of this particular 2021 so that it fits in the center of the frame that is the only thing you guys need to be concerned about and for doing this particular transition it has to be some kind of a round alphabet so that the transition can happen properly alphabets such as m or i or n will not look good now at this particular position as you can see it is almost at the center of the frame and it is slowly moving out of the frame so that is exactly what we guys want this is one of the steps which is going to take some time so make sure to take your own time in doing this now if i render this particular title out this is what it is going to look As you can see, it looks pretty good and the zero is at the center of this particular frame. Now the first part of this particular transition is done. Next part is going to be adding the second clip. So I have added the second clip from the browser. Now I am going to reverse this particular clip because it is in the opposite direction. I don't want the direction to be opposite. I want the direction of both the drone clips to be in the exact same direction so that the transition becomes flawless and the direction and movement of the transition remains the same. Otherwise this is not going to look good. So after just simply changing the direction and the speed of this particular clip what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a rough mask to this particular second clip so that it fits properly under the zero of this particular 2021 title. So I'm going to go to the effects panel, search in mask, drag the draw mask onto the upper clip. Now in order to ease up your mask in a bit, make sure to drag this particular layer above the main title layer and reduce the opacity. Because underneath the title layer, you cannot really see the mask. So for that particular reason, we are dragging this particular layer above the title and then reducing the opacity. After you reduce the opacity, go to the first frame of the second video and then make a rough mask around the zero, just like this. And then create a keyframe in the control point and the transform. Then go few frames later. You don't have to do this frame by frame. You can make a rough mask. So go a few frames later, maybe 10 frames or 12 frames later and then update the mask once more, just like this. And keep on doing this until the zero is totally outside of the frame. Now we are at the last frame. So if you go to the last portion, you can see that the zero is totally out of the frame. So in this particular area, I am going to drag in the entire mask. Now after that, I am going to increase the opacity all the way to 100%. And then as we are changing the opacity back to 100%, I'm going to change this particular layer's position below the main title layer. And as you can see, it is looking pretty good, but now I'm going to set a keyframe to the opacity so that it looks more seamless. You can also use a cross dissolve transition, but I will suggest to use the opacity keyframe because you can play with the timings and all. So in order to do that, just go to any one of the frames in the starting frames, set a keyframe to the opacity and set it to zero. Go a few frames later, set a keyframe to the opacity once more and set it to 100%. After that, you want to ease in this particular transition, this particular dissolve a bit more. So right click, click on video animation, right click and click on ease in. This is going to ease in this particular transition a lot more. And then it is pretty much done. If you want to color grade both the clips so that it matches both in mode as well as in colors, as well as in lighting. So make sure to do that. This is just an example. So I did not do any kind of color grading for this. Other than that, if you render this particular transition out, this is how it looks. And as you can see, it is looking pretty good. Also, if you guys want to make more such adjustments to this particular title, to this particular 3D texture titles, there are numerous different kinds of settings in the inspector panel with which you can play with so that you can make this particular title more realistic and more to your liking as per your colors, lightings, shadows, textures, contrast, etc. So make sure to play with all the settings on this particular inspector panel as well. Other than that, that is pretty much it. So I hope you guys like this particular video. If you guys like this particular video, then do make sure to like, comment down below. And this is Pixel Sammy. We'll be back with another video soon. Peace out.